Hello everyone, I'm Seth with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2016 Ford Transit Connect XL. It has roughly 65,500 miles. Front end is in good shape. There are a few minor defects. See some rock chips and things like that on the uh, bottom of the front bumper. Scratch there. Some rock chips across the front. Nothing glaring that stands out. The hood is in pretty good shape. Again, it does have a few minor defects. Some rock chips that have been uh, filled in there. Otherwise, a pretty good looking van. The bumper does not fit correctly there into the fender. does have accident reports on the Carfax, so you can look at that to see the severity of it. Front driver's side fender. Pretty good condition, does have a mark there. It's pretty difficult to see. Small mark there. And then of course the bump bumper fitment issue. Hubcap on the front driver's side wheel looks pretty good. Tires are in good shape. Driver's side mirror looks just about flawless. The plastic trim is a nice deep black color still. It's not uh, not faded, not sun washed. Driver's side door does have some marks on it. Nothing horrible that really stands out, but it's not perfect either. Looking at the center section of the van, passenger driver's side rear door, rather. This one does have some marks across the middle as well, over here in this area. There's a few marks down towards the bottom as well. Just cosmetic imperfections, nothing that would affect the utility or purpose of the van. Looking at the rear section, there's a mark there next to the passenger door. A few scratches and small rock chips, kind of by the wheel well, wheel well area. Otherwise, the uh, rest of the rear of the van looks good. Rear driver's side, the finish on the hubcap is kind of starting to crack and it doesn't seat in, um, but luckily, hubcaps are very, very inexpensive to replace, so that is not a big deal. Looking at the rear of the van, the two doors are in excellent condition. The paint on those looks great. However, um, probably the most noticeable defect on the van is the uh, rear bumper is somewhat ate up. So there is pretty clear cosmetic damage there but again it doesn't really affect anything it's just not pretty to look at and that's about the extent of it rear bumper also doesn't quite have perfect fitment anymore let's look at the other side and see if it does it too so the driver's side of the rear bumper still fits correctly but the passenger side does not clip in how it's supposed to Looking at the rear passenger side of the van. Apologize for the wind, by the way. The wind just recently picked up. Rear passenger wheel, hubcap I should say. Hubcap looks good, tires look good. No issues here on the paint, fuel door looks good. Center section, passenger side. Oh, also there's a dent and some scuffing down here in the rear section by the uh, wheel well. It looks like it's a small crease there as well. The center section looks good. It has very small cosmetic flaws, like very tiny rock chips and a few scratches that are not super noticeable. They don't really stand out, not to me anyways. Front passenger door. I don't see any issues there. 
Passenger mirror looks great. Front passenger fender. Great condition, just a couple of small rock chips towards the front. And that's it. Front passenger wheel. Looks good, tires look good. I'll go ahead and walk around it from a one foot distance so you can get a better idea of what the van looks like as a whole. So yeah, the bumper fitment isn't perfect. It does have a couple scratches and dents, but this van runs and drives great. It's very smooth. The cargo capacity in the back is pretty impressive for the size that the van is. These are designed very well so you can really utilize every square foot the van has to offer with the two passenger doors and the barn doors in the back the design is very efficient so hopefully that provides you with a better idea of exactly how the van looks so yeah it won't win a beauty pageant but it will do what it's designed to do so the inside is pretty nice. We do have these black uh, door panels. The interior is black. The seat does have a crack right there. The upholstery is in perfect condition. It looks awesome. The dash looks great. There's no issues with that. Dash looks good. Center console here looks good. It does have a 12 volt plug there. It does have a USB port and an auxiliary port as well. It's also Bluetooth capable and has cruise control. Heat blows hot, AC blows cold. Fires right up. Now you can see the vehicle has exactly 65,546 miles on it. All of the Knobs and tiles are intact. All the markings are intact as well. None of the buttons are faded or worn down. All the buttons work as they're supposed to. Steering wheel looks good. There's no wear on the steering wheel. Passenger door looks great. Passenger seat looks great. The, in the, the interior is pretty much impeccable with the exception of the cracked seat but again that's just cosmetic it doesn't affect the way you sit in the seat it doesn't move uh, you really don't notice it so for the cargo capacity of the van it does have two passenger doors and two barn doors as well the doors in the back split open like that and we'll go ahead and pop this guy open too. So you can see it's really easy to get cargo in and out of here. And you really can load this thing so you can use all the available room that it has, which is a pretty considerable amount. I love these small vans, they're super practical and they just work really well. goes to show that if you design it well you don't need to get one of those massive cargo vans one of these little guys will do the job just as well because you can better use the space that it has to offer and it does run and drive super nice let's have a look at the engine bay actually while we're here does have a really smooth consistent idle it sounds good it handles really well the little four-cylinder engine that it has does not struggle to get it around at all here we go engine bay is pretty clean it looks like it's been maintained pretty well engines really quiet runs and drives awesome This van scoots around no problem, doesn't struggle to get on the freeway. It honestly doesn't feel a whole lot 
different driving this from a, uh, a Ford Fusion, if I'm being honest. It handles and drives pretty similarly. It's a great little van that is guaranteed to put in work for many years to come. So that is our 2016 Ford Transit Connect XL. If you have any further questions, please feel free to look at our sales listing online. You can find that at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.